Welcome ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to check out the Bastion Healer setup. This is one of the new companions. You will be able to find all builds related to Bastion on alcashq.com in this section here. Magical damage dealer, stamina, a healer and a tank setup. See all the gear traits and skills. As well as on ezo-hub.com. There's a companion section up here. I will also put the link in the description. Where you can find all kind of skill lines. It's one for Bastion. Like all the skills are listed up. As well as a beginner guide. Which basically shows you how you can get skill lines. Where you can find him and so on. I will put the links into the description. For all that. So let's take a look. First off the gear. Fairly simple, full light armor with the soothing trait, which increases our healing done. Gear is fairly tricky to get, so even if you don't have the right gear, it doesn't matter that much. They simplified the gear aspect a lot, so like the gear is not really the same as player gear. So even if you were to wear medium or heavy armor, it would still work. Because there's pretty much just one passive. Now we get 1% more healing per light armor piece, so we get 7% more healing. Even if you were to wear heavy armor, you would still not really like lose any mobility or anything. The gear itself usually drops from all kinds of things. More of that explained in the guide. Same thing with the jewelry and the weapon. It's all soothing trait. If you want to know the values of that stuff, you can actually also find it. Let me here. Like the gear shows all the green, blue, purple values, but it's usually not that big of a difference. More important, the skills. So what do we have here? Rejuvenation. This is a restoration stuff skill, which heals over time. 10k over 8 seconds and it has a 12 seconds cooldown. Next up, Reverse Entropy. This is another heal over time. Almost 16k over 8 seconds. Then we have a shield, 26k, that pops when you or the companion drops below 26k. Like, this shield is huge. Obviously, if you get one shot, you're dead anyway. But if you drop below 25, this shield will be a big help. Kindle, this is another heal, 8 second cooldown, and it heals for 10k. So we have two heal over times, which are pretty much the most powerful heals in the game. So they keep ticking and healing. The shield if we need it, a smaller burst heal, and then you have searing weapons. Increasing their damage on with light and heavy attacks by 15%. So that's for Bastion and you. They do a little bit more damage with light and heavy attacks. And then we have Unleash Rage. You can pretty much ignore this as a healer. This is mostly about damage. And it's centered around him. But we do have a ranged playstyle. So it's not that important. Of course, you can change out some abilities if you want. But I found this setup to be pretty much the most effective. So let's actually go into an Oblivion portal and test out how he performs. I'm playing on my Nightblade. I removed most of my usual skills, so I have Sap Essence normally here, which heals for a lot, so I replace it with like Firing, so I don't get that much heals. And I replaced Swallow Soul, which also heals with like Force Pulls. The only heal I really have is Siphoning Attacks and when I pop my Spectral Bow. To actually see whether his heals are decent enough or not. I do like the companions the most when they're playing ranged because then they don't get hit that much and die less because dying companions is a big problem usually. Let's go.
So you can see the heal over time is pretty much the most important thing. Because they keep ticking. So even if I drop a little bit of health, it's already counter healing it. Which is very nice. And he barely gets any damage because he's always at range. Even better. Ladies and gates. Ooh, that boss is a pain. dead before he can cast it, no problem. Let me actually check something. Let me try to not use a side thing. Now he uses ulti. <laughs> I stunned all of them, lol. Uh, okay, the ulti is actually useful, sure. Uh, oh. Okay. He also deals okay ish damage. Yeah. How can you stand against this onslaught? Let me actually try to drop my health a bit lower. Uh, if he actually has heals turned. Yeah, we might gotta go to the boss to do that. Oh, now he blocked, huh? Interesting. The companions can block and do dodge rolls sometimes. Which is nice. So the two heal over times are pretty much enough to actually keep me alive. Which is nice. Of course these mobs you don't do that much damage, but they also don't do like no damage. Okay, let's see. He is stunned. Is he gonna stand up again or yeah, okay. <laughs> so he actually used his Can I help you with something? He used uh Kindle when he was like at fifty percent health, so that's good to know. Which is kind of like a burst heal. But he was stunned for like 5 seconds there. They do sometimes break free, but not always. So overall the heals are pretty good. I do prefer Miri because she has like another heal over time and the more heal over times you have the better to be honest. Because the thing with heal over times is that they even if you're at full health they keep ticking. But if you don't have any heal over times, you might already drop low before you get healed. So that's why I like the heal over times. You just keep ticking, ticking. The moment you drop, you already heal back up a little bit.
Yeah, so that actually hurts, huh? He takes a lot less damage than usual, like when he was a, would be a melee or something like that. So weird you can't dodge all that attack there. One uh oh, did not see them. Not too shabby. So let's actually see. Bastion. So I myself did like 41k healing. Bastion did 107k. Reverse entropy. This is one of the damage over. Uh, this is one of the heal over times. Then we have rejuvenation, which is another heal over time. Kindle is the direct heal. Then my shield and all the other stuff. Not too bad. The healing overall is definitely lower compared to Miri though, I would say. But still works fairly good. Let's see where we get to. Let's actually go to raw car real quick so I can show you. Yeah, all the information can be found on alcashq.com. It's all here, all the setups. And on Ezohub you can find a full companion section with all the skill lines. Even it also has leveling guides and so on. showcasing what I'm wearing here so Bastion has the new moon's cross sash robe which is white pitch die and my character has the freffy debutante day going this one's a new one scintillating scarlet and blood gold with the sil sanctified silver skin the weapon let's actually see Weapon I have here is a glass stuff on Bastion and mine has the Silver Dawn stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Please don't forget to subscribe and check out all the links in the description. Thanks for watching and cheers.